this video I'm going to do a volume under the curve uh, question from the IB Math X SL exam. Uh, this is a calculator allowed question and we're given a function 6 minus ln x squared plus 2. Uh, the graph of f passes through the point p4. So p is an x value when 4 is the y value and the first thing we're asked to find is the value of p. So we're plugging in the 4 for y and attempting to solve this equation for x. As soon as I write an equation like this that looks complicated on a calculator section of the test, I'm not going to attempt to solve it algebraically. I'm going to use a graph on my calculator to see where it hits 4. So the way, the way to do that is to add a graph page, graph the, uh, the one side of the equation, the side that had x in it, um, or really either side of the equation, as a function first, not with the equals 4. I think it was, let me just go back to the slide and see what the function was again. It was x squared plus 2, not x squared plus x. Let's fix that. And we hit enter and we see the graph. Uh, then we're looking for where it hits 4 and it told us that p has to be greater than 0. So we're looking at the positive side of the graph where it hits 4 for the y value. So the best way to figure out the exact coordinate is to um, enter a new function, the value 4. And then we're looking for the intersection point of the blue and the red. So we'll go to analyze graph, uh, intersection, and click on the left and the right. So we get a decimal value, which would not be acceptable if the cal if the question had actually said what is uh, find to find an exact value. There it is. So it's 2.32 as the x coordinate when y is 4. So because it didn't say find the exact value of p, we don't have to attempt to solve it analytically. We can use that value for x. But just to not risk losing points, I do want to sketch the graph that I used in order to get that answer because anytime you use a graph uh, as your work, you do want to sketch it. So we graph that first, then we graph the line at y equals 4, and the point that we found was 2.324. So just a sketch of what we saw on our screen is enough work. Then the following diagram shows part of the graph of f uh, from negative p to positive p. That graph does look familiar, it's the same one we just had, and now we know what the p-value is. So this must be negative 2.32, and this must be positive 2.32. And we're told that the region enclosed by the graph of f, the x-axis, and those two lines, negative p and positive p, is rotated 360 degrees about the x-axis. Find the volume of the solid form. So now it becomes an integration question, a calculus question. It's a definite integral because we know the boundaries of the region that we're trying to evaluate. So we set up an integral, negative, uh, negative 2.32 to positive 2.32. And then we're using um, a bunch of circles uh, or cylinders and the cylinder formula for volume is pi r squared times h, where um, r is going to be the function, and h is going to be a um, very, very small value, which, which, which we'll call dx. Uh, so we're going to put in pi, the function that we have as the radius, as if we're taking it and rotating it all the way around the x-axis and getting back to where we started. So we're creating a a circle shape so that it makes sense that the radius would be the function and then square that and then the height of each cylinder is the dx. Once I have it set up like this, again, I'm not going to attempt to evaluate one of these if it's a calculator test. Once I've set up a definite integral, I'm going to go straight to the calculator to evaluate it. If it said anything about an exact value, then I would have to try to integrate it by hand or indeed if it was a non-calculator test or if this was not a definite integral and there were no boundaries, then I might have to try to do integration by hand. But that is not the case here. So to go to the calculator, uh, this time we want to add ourselves a calculator page. I can go in the same document. And underneath the calculus part of this menu, there's numerical integral. So we can fill in the boundaries, low on the bottom, high on the top. We could put the pi here. You could use the pi symbol. And then we're multiplying, make sure you put multiplied by ln, and it was x squared plus 2. Oops, I forgot the 6 minus. I keep doing that. So pi times 6 minus, and then that function has a squared on it. So this is really all just being careful about the way that you're typing it in, because you'll never know you got it wrong. Um, once you hit enter, it's just going to give you a decimal value. So 331.8. If I go back to here, we're going to see... Are there any other stipulations on our answer? Find the volume of the solid formed. Oh, that's it. So all we have to write is 331.8.
we are not given, actually, let me just scroll up and check. We're given any units in this question. We're not given any units, so we don't need to put any units on our answer, but it would be uh, cubic units. If anything here was known to be centimeters or meters, it would be uh, meters cubed because we found a volume. And that is all.